All right, here we go. 2018 Bowman's Best Baseball case break number nine. These are your teams. Thank you, everybody that joined. I appreciate it. Good luck to you. Oh, big hurt 35 with the White Sox. Imagine that. Look at CDG balling out again. What is that? Eight, nine teams? Good ones, too. Weibo is dominating LA. Um, what do you want to do that? You really like the card, or you just want like an iconic card? We bow. What's up, brother? Yeah, <clears throat> I do know that. It definitely has the RC logo on it, too, doesn't it? Yeah. It's horribly off center. I literally have like three Mike Trout cards. Two of them are pretty whack, like just normal, generic, non rookie card refractors. And one's an autograph, but it's the cards are pretty banged up. Don't get me wrong, I'm 100% happy that I have the autograph. Yeah, I'll sell it one day and upgrade. I was supposed to do that with my last trout because it was a sticker auto. I was like, eh. I sold it to upgrade and I never bought a new one. Ooh, Strata. Early Strata was nice. The... Well... Early Strata was terrible, but... They changed it a little bit. And that was great. They had those... Um, game use trackable tags on there. I don't know what they're called. Um... And that was awesome. And then the next year, they did it again, except all the cards were acetate finished, and they were scratched up like crazy. Exactly what you don't want on an acetate card. One... Have you hit any good cards in the last month? I feel like you've just been getting worked. Oh, that's nice of him. Nice. 
Who's um, it's so five star still readily available? I've got to look into that. There's two dead weeks in a row, and I can. <coughs> I'll be fine taking both of them off, but I just took three weeks off. Prefer not to, just to keep my sanity. Yeah, I saw the uh, Freddie Freddie Freeman patch. I think I saw one of the posts you put up. It was awesome. Uh, Five Star is my favorite product. It's currently still running. Doesn't do real well, but I love it. Don't care. Uh, that and Top's Finest for baseball. I know you guys love Bowman and all things Bowman, but. There is, I know, it's crazy. Give me a contender's mania. I might actually. <laughs> I'd like to leave at least one or two for tomorrow so that I have something to do other than break one case of optic for basically free because no one wants it anymore. I like the the old school rainbow foil cards. That's my jam. The divorce of the richest couple could net his wife a hundred and thirty seven billion dollars. Holy cow. I don't think I read that right. He may uh watch no not watch. I do uh Save searches. I like the quotables. All about those. Hard to find baseball ones. And when you do, they're super expensive. 1200 bucks. <laughs> no thanks. Anyway. Love me some five star. Sixty six. Does she have to pay taxes on that? No, right? Because she already paid taxes on it. Uh, optic uh, football. Yeah, not basketball. Oh, yeah, I get it now. I didn't see her, LOL. <laughs> You'd marry her? Stick with it for like three or four years? And be like, hey, sugar mama, I don't even want half. Give me like five. So, what would you you do with all that money though obviously whatever you wanted right because it wouldn't matter anymore it's never going to run out unless you're an idiot I'd buy a state instead of a real perch <laughs> <laughs> Which state would you start with? <laughs> Bama. Nah. 
I like I like the people in New Mexico. I have a friend that lives in New Mexico. We can't start there. Unless we tell him to move first. Jail. Jail. J A L. I think is the name of the town. Jail, New Mexico. Not the right way. Makes Stephen Hawking's look very good. Wonder what he looked like before that. He was he had to have had a lot of money, right? Just because everyone wanted him to come to events and stuff. Wonder what his net worth was. I'll be your friend. I love friends. Always looking for more friends. What's your name? George, my name's Brian. It's nice to meet you. Why are you here? Do you like video games? Do you like sports cars? Did you specifically seek out our channel or did you stumble upon it? Are you here to hang out and have a good time or are you here to hang out and have a good time by making fun of other people? We want to know all about you, George. What's up? I do have Pokemon cards. Within arm's reach, actually. You want to buy some? I'll make you a deal. Five for five bucks. They're all foils, too. Check it out. Ballin! Look at me. I don't have no idea what these are. Oh, look at that one's got 190 GX HP. It's got to be worth like a dollar, right? No, they ration them. And they don't get the nice stuff until they can take care of the junk. Super rare. So, George, my friends, or my kids love Pokemon currently. So now I have to get all into this Pokemon stuff. Learning all about it. I'm going to buy a Pokemon Evolution book. It's got like almost 700 Pokemon. Is it Pokemon or Pokemon? I don't know how to refer to them. Pokey people? Mon. So it's always po Pokemon. It's never Pokemans. For Pokemons, it's always Pokemon. Like goat. Goats. Hey, it's not a good example. Um, Jonathan, I don't know what that is. Oh. Well, I do, but they're both grounded from it right now. Girl didn't do anything bad. Boy did. And uh, she's suffering because of it. Boy decided to beat the fuck out of some other kid the other day. Boy is in deep shit. He's five. Nice, Weebo. 
No, there won't be enough to sort. Yeah. You know what? That's a good idea. Maybe I'll save all the base cards and make them sort it into sets. I'll have, what are we going to do? Five cases? So I'll have at least 14 sets by the time the weekend's over. And I can sell them all for like six bucks. It'll cost five ninety five to send them all out. No, she won't watch that. Did you like that movie, Chris? I actually watched it the other night. I usually don't watch scary movies. Not that it was scary. I didn't. I thought that it was supposed to be a scary movie. It was very suspenseful, which I like. But like scary movies like Jason and Freddy and The Ring and... Those are a little too intense for me, so I don't watch them anymore. Especially stay away from the gore movies, the gore scare movies, like uh, he's the creepy guy with the clown face that kills everyone in uh, Trapped Room. There's like three or four movies of it. <laughs> oh man, he came back. 12 years later and got you. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I love that you acknowledge it that way. Oh, well, she's pissed off at me now anyway, so. I will refer to my children as girl and boy. Yes, Maxwell is in deep shit. He almost ripped the kid's ear off. The director of the camp called my wife and was like, oh my God, there's blood everywhere. It's all over him and his clothes and his hands. And, and she called me because she was in South Beach at the office. And I was up here. She's like, you got to go there right now. Why are you still on the phone right now? I said, right now. I was like, Calm down. Ugh. Fiasco. This happened yesterday. Yeah. Harry Potter style with the phoenix. He gouges his eyes out. Wouldn't it have been my first tactic, but he won this battle. That's what he said. I won this battle. <laughs> like, no, you've lost epically everything. <laughs> no, no. I don't, you know, there's always two sides. So it, it all had to do with some stupid slap bracelet. They both wanted it. It was the other kids. Max had it. The other kid didn't. He wanted it back, you know. I don't know. Didn't work out well. Cole win Rangers. Noah Cindergaard. It wouldn't be as big deal if it wasn't a problem for the last couple months. Bryce Turang. Refractor Auto. Brew Crew. So he's the, he's the biggest one in his group, but he's also the youngest. So they all think he's old, and they treat him like that, but he's not. Fernando Romero, he doesn't know how to handle himself around it. Hopes he does better than he did in his last fight. Juan Soto Atomic. 
Thanks. Kyle Tucker to 250. Luis Escobar. Hi, Rats. Elliot Ramos, Refractor Auto. Um, he should. He's not damaged. He's been out for a long time. He didn't have any medical suspensions. Why not get him back in there? I love it. He's eager. I like that. Bones is a bad man. Shohei. Brandon Rogers to 150. Yes, at least three times. I believe him. McClanahan. Or at least I believe that that's what he wants to do. I mean... You're fighting for your life in a ring, so things happen. Ryan Rollison, Rockies. Remember when he snapped his toe off against, uh, who was that against? Was that against Shogun? Michael Kopech, the 250. He showed it in the, holy shit. Yes, sir. Ronald Acuna to 25 Atomic. <whistles> Rupp 2678. There you go, Jared. It's a hell of a card. She's a beaut, Clark. <clears throat> yeah, Anthony Smith, Lionheart. It's going to get absolutely destroyed. It's not even a fair fight. But there's nobody else to fight, so whatever. I mean, it's fair. They're both trained and the same size, but it won't be competitive. Um, yeah, I, I don't think that Cormier fight should happen. If they want to preserve any kind of legacy for Cormier, they can't have him fight John Jones again. Jordan Groshans? I mean, what's he going to do? Lose his third fight? And they're all going to be to John Jones? And one got taken away, the one where he got his head knocked off because of a picogram? Anthony Siegler, live auto, Yankees. Nolan Gorman, boom, Cardinals. Avanti, Psh, killing it. Um... No, well, I, I think even if he beat John Jones, he wouldn't be considered the greatest ever. I think John Jones would just get knocked down into the category of George St. Pierre, Conor McGregor, you know, anybody else that's been an amazing champion. Jose Aldo. Whatever. Jose Altuve to 99. 
but he'll still have a chance to come back and build that up. DC's done. Max two fights. The guy's 43 years old. Jonathan India, Refractor Auto. Juan Soto, what a case. Boom. Khabib, huh? I'm... I can't comment on this because I'm super, super, super biased. I don't like Khabib. Khabib. I don't like him at all. Brady Singer. So it's hard for me to have good things to say about him. Atomic Shohei. Nice. Franklin Perez. But at the end of the day, the only competent fighter that he's ever fought has been a stand-up specialist that hadn't fought in three years. So, I don't. How good is he really? Twenty-six and all. What's that mean? How many? How, name ten people that Floyd Mayweather beat in his fifty and all career. Clint Frazier, orange to 25. Yes, he's he is scary dominant. Nick Madrigal. Tristan Cassis. I really wanted to see... Max Holloway take him on. Uh, Brian Dozier to 250. That would have been awesome. Jordan Alvarez. Jose Abreu, Atomic. Um, I think Brady Singer, 50 out of 50. I don't think there's a 155-er that can beat Khabib right now. If they can, wow. Jose Albertos and Adbert Eloze to 10. Cubs is par for the course. There you go, Andy. Boom. This is a very hot case. Cal Tucker Atomic. I do think that there are two 145ers that could beat Khabib, though. And I think George St. Pierre would absolutely destroy Khabib if they could meet at a catch weight. Just my opinion. I think Brian Ortega would handle Khabib easily. I think Max Holloway could beat him in a struggle. I think George St. Pierre would handle him easily. I don't know that there's anybody else that could beat him. I do think that Tony Ferguson's going to be an incredibly awesome fight if it can ever happen. Fifth time's charm, right? Ryan Dozier to 150. No. There's, well, maybe. Um, 
Shevchenko maybe could. Holy yes. To 50, Gold Mandrigal. Boom. Yes, sir. I'll do that all day. Molten hot. This is a hot case. Alec Baum to ninety nine. What do you guys think about Anderson Silva? Brendan McKay, Atomic? Carter Keyboom? We got a big fight coming up. Real big. It's a make or break. I agree, Chris. I, I agree. And... I don't subscribe to the theory that he's not as good as he used to be. I think he's had a strange series of events over the next last five years. Maybe they're self-inflicted. Maybe they're not. But the Nick Diaz fight, he won. He beat him. Matthew Liberatore to 99. Uh, his last fight out was against David Branch or what was the guy's name? <laughs> yeah. It took until the forest fight to sell you? Jesus. I was sold on his first UFC fight. Estevan Florio Chris, Chris Lieben. Oh my god. Go watch that fight. Chris Lieben, Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva's UFC debut. Oh. You won't need much time. It only takes about a minute and 48 seconds. Connor Scott, Refractor. Whew. And when you're watching it, keep in mind that Chris Lieben was like the toughest guy around at the time. That, that's when it... So, Weedman won... He was fucking around, got knocked out. We've been two. He was winning, started fucking around, and then threw that leg kick, broke it in half, lost. What he came back after that and fought. Uh, um, I can't remember. Yeah, he popped on Diaz, but Diaz also popped for weed, which is okay. Whatever. Kevin Kramer, gold, the 50. Trouty, the Gruminator to 99. Derek Brunson. Oh, he bought. <laughs> Do you remember the Daniel Cormier fight? Blake Snell. Who fights Daniel Cormier? Up a weight class at light heavyweight on 10 days' notice. Evan White. Nolan Arenado. Verdugo to 250. He didn't lose to Bisbing. He beat Bisbing. The fight was over. He knocked him out, and they let them keep fighting, and then Bisbing came back and won on the cards. It was the dumbest fight I've ever seen in my life. Guy loses his mouthpiece, stops, points to the ground, gets popped in the mouth, and then the fight's over, and they're like, oh, no. Nope, they can keep going. You got Anderson Silva on the fence celebrating. Josh Burrow. Yes, watch it. It's an incredible fight. It's five rounds, so give yourself 40 minutes. 
if you want to watch it without fast forwarding. Logan Gilbert. Jose Altuve to 50. Daniel Lynch. Royce Lewis gold to 50. All right, let's recap it. Oh, yeah. What I was saying is, so he lost the Weedman. Then he lost the Weedman again. Both were kind of freaks, freak accidents. Then he got an L for the Nick Diaz fight that he actually won. Then he fought Michael Bisping, which he actually won that fight also, but they let it kept going and he lost on the cards. Then he fought Daniel Cormier at heavyweight on 10 days notice and lost in a three-round snoozer because DC just laid on him the whole time like he should have. Then he fought Derek Brunson and won in a boring fight. So really, I mean, one, two, three, four of his last five fights are kind of bogus losses. They're still losses. But there's an argument to be made that you better watch out. Anderson Silva's still here. Yeah, that DC fight was so bad. I always forget about it, too, actually. Uh, here we go. Parallels first. Gold. Jose Altuve. Golds are 250. Royce Lewis Gold. Purples are to 250. Alex Verdugo. Greens are to 99. Jacob DeGruminator. Kevin Kramer. Alec Baum. Dozier. Blues are to 150. Atomics, like these, are not numbered. Kyle Tucker. Shohei. There's another really good one. Juan Soto. Syndergaard, Rogers, Kopech, and Tucker. Good parallels. Pretty good base autos. All right. Key Boom, Horner, Madrigal, Jordan, Juan Soto, Groshans, Gorman. Yeah. Uh, parallel autos. Got a Tarag Refractor Auto. Connor Scott. Matthew Liberatore to 99. Brady Singer to 50. 50 of 50. That means anything to you. Uh, 4 out of 10. Dooley. Jose Albertos and Edbert Alose. Uh, run pile, Brian Dozier, purple, orange to 25, Clint Frazier. Uh, Jose Altuve, ink to 99, green, Houston, boom, Benny Hanna. Jonathan India, Anthony Siegler, Elliot Ramos, Nick Madrigal to 50. Ronald Acuna. Atomic to 25. And that is it on this one. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. See you all next time.